what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? A woman receiving SSDI welfare benefits sparked outrage when she shared a video featuring a dog reaping the benefits of the U.S. welfare system. What does she do? This woman fed a dog a lobster off your dime, your tax dollars. She actually filmed herself in the store buying the lobster and mocking the taxpayers the whole time. I never seen someone receive benefits sound so ungrateful. She seemed like she was mad that she was getting it. Now, some people suspect that the video is not authentic. Well, they, they suspect that the video is authentic, but they think that she's trolling. She's just doing it to get attention. I don't know. Could be, maybe not. I was very interested to know what the conservatives might think of such a video, because I remember when there was a video of a black woman floating around, they were calling her the welfare queen. They called her the welfare queen. And all of these sites you go on to, it was talking about how horrible the welfare system is and how they need to cut these black people off of welfare. And she's probably she's ghetto. She probably got six baby daddies and all of this stuff. They was going on and on and on and on and on. So I was like, well, let me see if they're consistent with their convictions. Because I know that the uh, conservatives and they're very, very respectable people and they're very consistent people and honorable people. And I feel like they're going to be fair and impartial because they always talk about fairness. I mean, that's what Fox News is all about taking responsibility for your actions and being fair and, and, and hey man, just doing the right thing. Just doing the right thing overall. This is the conservative ideology. You know, the liberals are always looking for free stuff. You know, like we got to stop the liberalism. We got to stop them. Now, take accountability. So I go on the sites and most of them didn't cover it at all. And some of the ones that did they were trying to placate it. They were being very, very nonchalant about it, like it wasn't that big of a deal. I finally stumbled across the blaze. I say stumbled because nobody in their right mind would actually go there on purpose. This is the writer's perspective on the blaze. It would seem that the woman in the video is actually against those who make minimum wage and is instead, and having made the video, attempting to make a statement about the state of welfare in the U.S. today, despite outwardly appearing to mock those working for minimum wage. The woman also showcases just how flawed the capitalistic labor system in the U.S. actually is, as well as the public assistance system. While her attempt in delivery was undoubtedly poor, it would appear that the woman's greater point is the unfairness of the vast quality of life disparity between those on welfare and those making minimum wage. Isn't it just wonderful how they can have compassion and understanding when someone does something foul or vile or commit a crime and they're white? Oh man, they can find every angle in the world to humanize the person. It is absolutely amazing. Go back, y'all. Do your research. Look up when that black woman uh, was busted for welfare fraud and she was talking about using the system and the system got to pay for her children and all this stuff. Go back and read the comments on Yahoo, MSN. Go to The Blaze, 
the red state, independence. Go to Fox News. It's amazing. The hypocrisy is truly amazing. They would do anything to paint themselves as honorable people. Anything to protect their image when somebody white does something dirty. Anything. And they'll do anything to paint people of color, especially black people, as despicable scum. When one person does something, they blame it on everybody. When one white person does something, it's an isolated incident. That person stands on its own merit. And they still try to find excuses to try to humanize that person. Go out there and kill 100 people. Mental health had to be because no regular person would just do something like that. Just a person would not do something like that. So had to be. Let a black person do something. They ready to pass all kind of new legislation. It's amazing, man. The hypocrisy is indeed amazing. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm not putting this information out there to be divisive. I know some of y'all probably going all the way in by now. But that ain't why I'm putting this out there. That's not why I'm exposing this. I'm exposing this as to promote awareness. Just to give it to you, raw, simple and plain, man, to let y'all know what, what the truth is. Because they try to paint black folks as the face of welfare, as the face of poverty and crime. Like black folks got poverty and crime, and crime exclusively on lock. That's our thing, poverty and crime. And when anybody else does it, especially a white person does it, they got every excuse in the book or they may not even say anything about it. They brush it to the side. But when somebody black do something, they indict the whole black race. Every single community in the United States especially is persecuted for the acts of one or a few. That's the way they do it. Again, I think the video might be a fake, but I just want to let you know it's still indicative of who's actually on welfare the most. I mean, in this country, more white people are on welfare than anybody else. That's a fact. That's not something I'm making up. That's a fact. But every time they mention welfare, free stuff, they want to talk about black people. Black people this, black people that. That's why I started doing this channel. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you know, put an alternative out there. There's got to be something, it's gotta be some type of resistance. So that's why I do this channel, to bring y'all these type of stories so that we can have some type of balance. Because they go in all day, it's like they wake up and go to sleep on this stuff. All they do, they, they wake up and go to sleep on division, prejudice, racism. That's their thing. It's amazing. They talk about how the welfare system needs to be reformed. The welfare system don't need to be reformed. People need to be reformed. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm all for welfare assistance if somebody needs it. I don't give a fuck what their nationality is. I don't care what their race is. Especially if you worked. If you put in work and you find yourself between jobs, I ain't talking about just sitting back and saying, I'm tired of work, so I want to get a free ride. No, I'm talking, if you find yourself between jobs, you deserve it. If you put the, if all that damn money they take out and they use for all of these things that you don't even use, you never take advantage of, limo taxes, Stadium taxes, mud taxes, pollution for these factories. Man, man, they take out, man, they take out money out of your tax. They take out money from your paychecks that 
and, and, and put it toward causes you'll never use. So if you find yourself down on your luck and you put your work in, man, you deserve that. That's what it's for. Now, people taking advantage of, of the system, uh, that's a total different thing. My intentions, again, like I say, is not to divide. It's to bring awareness to the situation. That's why I'm talking about it. And I'm going to tell you something else. That, that chick, she's a, a straight-up dodo bird. Who this is the generation of telling on yourself. I mean, this is the time that we're living in. And then she fed the dog. It was one thing that she fed the dog a lobster. And then she gave the lobster. She fed him the lobster with the shell still on it. Do you know what that's going to do to the dogs inside? It could kill them. It could kill the dog. But she don't have that, that much sense. Yeah, this chick, she need to be dealt with. I was just thinking, it's nothing that a roll of duct tape, a couple of cement blocks, and some rope wouldn't cure. No more talk. What the natives talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.